So let's talk about how you find uh, how you find the principal components. Uh, there's actually a number of shortcuts, but I'm just going to go through the basic vanilla version. So this is um, you probably have seen this in your basic linear algebra course. So this may be uh, dreadfully boring. Right? <coughs> So um, the way you find eigenvalues and um, eigenvectors is you go after the eigenvalues first. So the way you find the eigenvalues is you take your matrix, that's our covariance matrix, sigma, uh, and we have to find the determinant of sigma minus uh, lambda times the identity matrix. And we have to solve that, set that to zero, and solve it. Right. So what does it look like? Um, this is our covariance matrix. 2.8.8.6. And what I've done is I've subtracted lambda on the diagonal. So that's that part, right? Lambda on the diagonal. Just subtracted those numbers. Um, now, uh, I have to take the determinant of that. So the determinant for a matrix like that is easy. 2 by 2 matrix, you just multiply things on the diagonal and subtract the multiplication of the, uh, the, the cross diagonal term. So it's, it's that. It's, it's the first term times the fourth term times 0.8 times uh, 0.8 uh, subtracted. Right? And that has to be uh, equal to 0. And that's your regular quadratic equation. So you solve it like any other quadratic equation. Uh, and it will have two roots. So you will find two numbers, two solutions, uh, um, <clears throat> two solutions lambda to this equation. And in this particular case, they happen to be 2.36 and 0.23. And these are the two eigenvalues. Right? Two by two case, we're going to have two eigenvectors, two eigenvalues that go along with them. So, uh, and that's that's what they are. Now we can use the definition of the eigenvector to pull it out directly. Right. So we know that for each eigenvector, if you take it and multiply it by the covariance matrix, it's going to get longer or shorter by the corresponding eigenvalue. Right. So. Just pick one of the eigenvalues, stick them in here, and solve for it. So that's what we're getting. Our covariance matrix, this is our unknown eigenvector. Covariance matrix times this unknown eigenvector should be the same eigenvector multiplied by 2.36. So this one is going to get longer, twice as long, in fact. Right. So, um, and this is just a linear system. So it's 2, two times e, e11 plus 0 0.8 times e12 equals to uh, 236 times uh, e11, right? And the same thing for the second equation. So these are the two equations that you get from the multiplication. And then you have to solve for them. Now, solving for them is a little bit tricky because they turn out to be redundant, right? Um, but uh, the way you do that is you figure out a relationship between e11 and e12, right? So uh, basically, take that guy, move it over there, uh, you get 0.36 and then and then solve for it. You get an equation like that. Right. So uh, E11, the first component of this eigenvector, should be twice as much as the second component. <clears throat> so um, there are lots and lots of vectors that satisfy this condition. So I'm going to take the simplest one. Right. This is the simplest one. Here, the first component is 2.2 and the second one is 1, and that satisfies this condition. <clears throat> Uh, now, one thing that I didn't say until now, these eigenvectors, they have to be unit length. Right? I want them to be unit length. Uh, so uh, basically to avoid multiple solutions, because there's lots and lots of vectors that satisfy the condition. I could multiply this by 2 and still have everything work out. It's still, still an eigenvector. So I want a unit length eigenvector. And the way to do that is you just take this guy and divide it by its Euclidean length. And if you do that, uh, it becomes 0.91 and 0.41. Right. So uh, now if you square this number, square this number, add them up, you'll get a 1. That's what unit length is. So that is my first eigenvector. Right. I've solved it for 1. Now I can do the same thing for the second one. Same equation, only now I'm using the second eigenvalue, 0.23. Solve it in the same way. I get that, minus 41, 0.91. Um, now, the, as a sanity check, Look at the ratio between these guys. So uh, if, you take, if you take this guy and divide it by that guy, the slope is 454. Four. That's the same as we had on the previous slide. That's what they're converging to. Right. So, <clears throat> so uh, that's, that's, that's the solution. Our first principal component would be the first eigenvector, the one with the biggest eigenvalue. So this one and the second principal component is that. Right. Um,
we'll stop here uh, and uh, look at more of PCA next lecture.